Have you ever heard a band member say, this would sound great with a double bass? Do you have an old dusty upright bass tucked away in a corner after several failed attempts at learning to play it? Or are you seeing gigs you used to get go to doublers instead? If any of this resonates, this video series is for you. Double Bass for Electric Bass Players is a series directed at the bass guitarist with a desire to include the double bass in his or her musical vocabulary. After many years of teaching countless students, taking them through the transition from bass guitar to the double bass, I've come to recognize the most common problem areas in the process. This course is designed to help you avoid these pitfalls. The course is broken into four parts. Part 1 focuses on identifying the main differences between the bass guitar and the double bass, apart from the obvious, its size. We'll also discuss what to look for when shopping for an instrument, as well as some pointers as how to have it set up. The double bass is a physically huge instrument and the last thing we need is for it to fight us more than necessary, so a proper setup is important. In Part 2 we delve into the more practical sides of the transition, including correct posture, whether standing or sitting, as well as developing a good and fluent plucking technique on the instrument. I'll be giving you some practical exercises for your plucking hand to get you comfortable, as there are a few important differences from the bass guitar. Part three is all about the fingering hand. This is the most important part to work on in this transition. We'll be looking at physical considerations when making the transition, the longer string length of the double bass and what it means to our fingering techniques. We'll be discussing three finger technique in the first positions, as well as expanding to the four finger technique we're used to from the bass guitar when we get higher up the fingerboard. We'll be talking about the importance of using open strings and how this is part of the double bass's sound as well as proper positional playing. I'll also be taking you through some basic major scale fingerings in the lowest positions, as well as expanding on these up towards the octave on the fingerboard. So there's a lot of important stuff to study in this part. Part 4 is all about instrument specific stylistic elements of the double bass. We'll be looking at skips, both muted and unmuted, pull-offs to open strings, open string usage in shifts, slides, triplets, basically many things that makes a double bass sound as it does in a rhythmic setting. We'll be studying these elements through written out bass lines and there will be links to PDFs of these in the video's description. Please hit the subscribe and notification buttons as I'll be posting content like this for electric and double bass on a regular basis. So now, without further ado, Let's jump right into part one of double bass for the electric bassist. See you there.